some cabbage, Sammy, love. I'm just thinking it names for piglets. <laughs> They're cute, aren't they? Yeah. I don't suppose there's much point in me naming them, though, if I'm not going to be around to watch them grow up. You will be, love. I don't think I can face going to jail again, Lisa. You won't be, Sammy. Not if I've got out to do with it. His exercise will do him good. Using my dad as support for a diet is a bit like building a tower block on quicksand. That's not fair. He's really keen to work with me. Regular exercise, sensible bit eating. We can do it together. Yeah, well, I'll believe that when I see it. Hi! Ready for your swim? Uh, not, not quite. Told you he'd wheedle out of it. No, you, um, you, you know I told you that it's uh, been some time since I went. Uh, well... I don't think these are going to fit. Plus, he'll be aired out for gross indecency. <laughs> we'll stop off at a shop on the way. Come on, Debbie, you're late. Get going. No, I'm just finishing off the breakfast. <laughs> we'll make it in prison too, and, well, she could have years of it. Yeah, well, I couldn't take that. When I first went inside, Dad told me, You've got to stand up for yourself, or you're done for. I'm no good at standing up for myself. You seem to manage all right. You know, I'm OK at home. If someone has a go at me, I can just go out over it fields till it's cooled down. You can't do that when you're in Nick. Well, don't the guys look after you? Well, you can't see everything. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dad. I suppose you think I'm a right coward. You're a good lad, Sam, and I wouldn't change you. Well, what am I going to do if I get sent down? Don't worry, you won't. If there's no other way, then I'll say I did it on my own. And that'll leave you in the clear. Yeah, but then you go down, and, and you didn't do it either. Well, there's been a few I got away with. This will just even the score. Well, it won't work. We've got Scott as a witness saying he saw Sam in the yard. And he's the one that had the information about the whiskey. She's right. That copper said they got a watertight case against me. So it'll be the same as Mum. You won't be able to stop him from going down. I'd better go or I'll miss the bus. Here's your soldiers. Bring it up. You're up bright and early. Yeah, well, I've got lots to do. I've got new rotors with Sam and Jarvis gone. And we need to find a new tenant now the Marlin problem's sorted. Things do seem to have improved since the robbery. And that is just the start. Yep, I don't want to talk about work over breakfast. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. Um, well... You don't have to go. Why don't you join us? Spend some time with your daughter. I'd love to. Thank you very much. It'd be nice for her to have some company for a change. Seems so quiet since Chris has gone. He's still missing. Well, he was always there for me. I never knew how much I relied on him until he was gone. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to get used to it. Well, I'm sure he'd be very impressed about the way that you're coping. And I'm always here to help him. Loads of ideas about the business, loads of improvements that we can make. Scott, don't run before you can walk. Just be pleased you're doing a good job. Lisa, what are you doing? Oh, I've persuaded all of them to give us this last batch on credit. I know you're trying to help. Look, if we can get this lot finished, then at least it'll got something to sell and it'll give a, a, get the cash flow moving again. I'm afraid it's going to take a lot more than that. Oh, it'll give us a start. I've persuaded some of them to work for no pay for a while. We can't start up again without a massive cash injection and because Gloria's been so busy emptying our accounts, that's exactly what I don't have. Oh, but you can't give up now. I'm not. I'm remortgaging the house. Would it, do you think that'll do the trick? I don't know. It's the only option that I've got left. I'm going to see the bank manager as we speak. But I need a little Dutch courage before I have to face him. Good luck. Right, there's just one more thing that I've got to sort out. Looks like Ashley's having trouble with Gabby. Been like that ever since they came in. Perhaps she's sickening with something. Do you think I should go and help? I thought you weren't going to get involved. Oh, do try and cheer up, Gabby. Daddy's got a lot of work to do and he can't spend the whole day fussing over you. Hiya. I'm sorry I haven't seen much of you lately. That's all right, Laurel. I expect you've been busy. Emily says that Gabby might be ill. Mm. Yeah. 
Isn't it? Oh, she hasn't got a temperature. It's just one of those days, I think. <laughs> oh, things will get easier when Bernice gets back. Well, she's not planning to. Mm. Certainly didn't mention anything to me. Really? Anyway, Gabby and I are quite used to coping on our own, aren't we? I expect a walk round the village would cheer you up. And we could stop off by the swings. <gasps> Posies. I didn't expect to see you while you're on your health kick. I thought it'd be all salads and low-calorie drinks. I need something a bit stronger than that, Diane. A large brandy, please, and whatever Shirley's having. Diet cola. Oh, is this swimming? Uh, a bit embarrassing. He nearly drowned. Well, that's not an exaggeration. I, I was just fighting for breath a little. But the lifeguard panicked. If I hadn't pulled him to the side, he'd been straight in. That makes you a hero. No, not really. No, we were in the shallow end. It were only three foot of water. <laughs> I don't suppose you'll be going swimming again, then? Oh, on the contrary, it's made me even more determined to get fit. Well, I hope you kept your life insurance up to date. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Well, Marlon's my sole heir. He gets it all. <laughs> well, what are you going to do with Alan's loot, Marlon? Sounds like you'll be getting it soon. I do think you're being rather unfair. I, I mean, I just swallowed a bit of water, that's all. A bit? They were refilling the pool half an hour later. <laughs> <laughs> Ashamed of yourself. Have you got a problem? You planted that stuff in our barn. Yeah, who's going to believe that, Lisa? Your family is responsible for half the crime rate in Yorkshire. Not Sam. He loved his job. He'd never do out to threaten it. Yeah, well, that's not how the police see it. Well, I don't know how you can do such a thing. You know what it's like to be framed. I've told you, it's nothing to do with me. It's the police. Yeah, but you could let him off the hook. I am begging you, Scott. He is terrified of going to jail. Trouble? No, nothing I can't handle. This is private property and you're trespassing. So if we don't leave quietly, I'm going to have to escort you from the building. Don't bother. I know I'm wasting my breath. Haven't you done enough to our family? Sam will get out when he's done his time. My brother's never coming back. You better keep the security on tonight, in case we get another little visit. Oh, I don't think they'll risk getting nicked again. Mind you, I won't leave your car here. That's too big a temptation. Oh, that's not my car. I thought it was time you had a company vehicle. Will that do? <laughs> Business mileage is an acceptable expense, but we don't pay for other extras. You'll have to provide your own blonde. Your first duty is to drive me back to home farm. What do you mean? All that stuff about me inheriting. I was only joking. I have no intention of shuffling off this mortal coil for quite a while yet. I know, I know, but... No, Trish is gone. It doesn't feel right that I'm even in your will at all. I mean, I'm not even a blood relative. I'm sure Trisha would have wanted me to make some provision for you. I'd rather you gave it to someone who needed it. I've got to, I've got to find some way of making something out of my life without her. He's got a point. Well, I suppose it does seem odd, me leaving the bulk of my estate to him, but I've left money to the grandchildren, so the, the family are taken care of. Well, not all the family. Perhaps the, um, the British Transplant Foundation might be a better option. Are you really still so set against Steph? I thought you two had been getting on better. Yeah, we have, but there are, are things that I, I can't forgive. Uh, and if my money was used for medical research, at least I'd know it was doing some good. I doubt if Trisha and Marlon would have stuck it into an orphanage. It's not just about the money, it's what it says about your relationship. Hmm. Yes, perhaps I'm being a little hard, blaming her for things in the past. And you're right, we, we have been getting on better lately. I'd have thought Eric would be back by now. Where's he gone? Bank manager. Last stitch to keep the factory afloat. I hope it works out. There's a lot of jobs depending on it. Yeah, mine included. Not that I should be worried about shop floor work at my time of life. Lisa might be prepared to do work for nothing, but I didn't think much of it when I was paid. It don't matter what you do as long as you give your best. Don't give me that pious nonsense, Emily. Money's what counts, as Eric is finding out the hard way. Steph, we need to talk. Is something wrong? No. 
just been thinking things over. Um, it's been hard for both of us since we lost Trisha. Yeah, it's not getting any easier. But maybe it has brought us closer together. Yeah, that's helped me as well. So perhaps we could try a fresh start. What do you mean? Oh, well, I, I'm tired of us fighting old battles and nursing old grievances. We both made mistakes in the past. Perhaps we could both learn from it. Perhaps. But I, I, I have been wondering if I've been unfair to you. In what way? Well, I've changed my will. I, I've made you the beneficiary. I, 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 I know it can't. Money can't bring Trisha back. So, what's changed your mind after all this time? It's made me realise that I've still got a daughter to care for. And I want you to know how, how much that means to me. Oh, Dad. You don't know how long I've waited for you to say that. Up, Zach, it might never happen. Didn't move a scrape, you know, just but it already has. Well, there's no point crying over spilt milk. Tell you what, I was saving it for a rainy day, but there's a bottle of scotch that the police didn't find out. I hid it in the pig bin. All right, get ready for the next search, like. The best way to keep it hidden is drinking it. Might cheer us up a bit. That's not going to help sort scotch out, is it? Tar and feathering's the best for that. And that is not going to keep Sam out of jail. Or get him his job back. No plan's perfect. We need something clever, cunning, something he's not expecting. Like putting rat poison in his cornflakes. Subtlety never was your strong point, was it? And this iron is for Mrs. Atkins. She needs it back by six. Oh, I'll take it home, cos I've got a couple of Gabby's nighties I want to press. Hmm. I've only got the vicarage down for cleaning. I didn't realise I should have wanted our ironing service too. No, it's a favour. If you're doing it, charge him. But I thought you vowed to keep your distance. Well, I did, but then I saw him in the calf and he looked so helpless. I just felt a bit guilty. <laughs> Why don't you get a neon sign with mug written on it? He's just taken advantage of you till Bernice gets back. No, but he says that she's not coming back and he didn't seem upset about it. Dad, what do you reckon? Are Bernice and Ashley getting back together? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what put that idea into your head? You can't think of any other explanation why she stayed so long, can you? Well, I don't think you should speculate until you know the facts. He knows more than he's letting on. Probably sworn into secrecy till they make an announcement in the wall pack. No, but Ashley said no. maybe you just heard what you wanted to. Wishful thinking? Because I reckon it's just a matter of time. Well, I think I deserve a little bit of a celebration. <laughs> you bet. You obviously got a big future with the tits. See Zoe's errand boys flashing his money about. Lost to the big spenders. Well, got a shiny new car out there and all. Been bolstered about it. We sticks in my throat to think what he did to Sam to get it. He's taking down a peg or two. Right. With your cooperation, I think we can fix that. What do I have to do? Well, it, it might turn your stomach, but do you think you could make him think that you fancied him? <laughs> it's that much of a big head, he reckons every woman fancies him. Yeah? Then he'll walk straight into it with his eyes wide open. Oh, I'm done. Do you want the bad news or the really bad news? <laughs> your choice. Well, I can't remortgage without Gloria's signature. And there's no chance of me catching up with her, never mind trying to ask her to sign anything. But I thought you said you were going to get on with your life and stop worrying about her. You know, perhaps it's time to think of other options. <laughs> she hasn't left me other options. I tried asking them for a loan. No dice. The only security I've got is the factory. And the repayments will be more. Well, perhaps you should think about selling shares. <laughs> Who'd be mad enough to buy into a business in this state, huh? Me. 
<laughs> Glad to see you haven't lost your sense of humour. I need at least £20,000. <clears throat> I suspect that's slightly out of your league. Don't you be so sure. Your car outside, big boy. Pretty neat, eh? Bonus from the boss. Oh, I wish somebody would buy me something like that. It's the kind of motor I've always dreamed of. Expect Scott will give you a ride if you play your cards right. <laughs> Would you? I'm due a break. Well, if Carl doesn't mind being left on his own for a while. You go ahead. I'm sure I can find something to amuse myself with. <laughs> He's pretty good from here. Huh? You lads, you got one track minds. Car tells me all the sort of bloke that guess what he wants. Well, our life's too short not to, eh? That's what I always say. So when are you gonna give me a ride? How about tomorrow? How about now? Could find a country hotel, book a room. But maybe you don't want to. Maybe you don't fancy me. Well, of course I do. But I've just had a few drinks, that's all. I don't want to be driving. Yeah, but I'm stone cold sober. How about we forget about the drive, eh? There's uh, more important things we could be doing. What are you suggesting? <sighs> For that, we need somewhere a bit more private. Well, uh, how about your room? Too many prying eyes. I know the perfect place, though. Keys. Where's she going? Decided to take a break with Scott. She might have told me. Other things on her mind. Seems she were gagging for a ride. <laughs> I can't say she does anything for me, but if you happen to be available... Sorry, he lucks out, I'm afraid. Cos while Chaz is doing it on my time, I've got a pub to run. <laughs> and where would you get £20,000? Let's just say... a window of opportunity is opened. Oh. And why would you hand this windfall to me? Because I've decided running a factory is more my style than working at one. <laughs> that I can believe. <laughs> and when you've got a workforce that's mug enough to work for nothing, there's got to be money in it. Mm. The only question left is whether you're man enough to go into business with me. For speed, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like fast swimming? That I do. <laughs> Oop, not much of one for ball play, are you? Well, I don't see much point, eh? We both know we want it, so why don't we stop messing about and let's go? <laughs> Get off me. Has this man been molesting you? You bet he has. What took you so long? Hey? Oh, that's okay. I can deal with it now. You stay away from me, Zach. Why are you going to threaten me with the law like last night? Well, I don't think that'll work now. This is not revenge. I'm defending a lady's honour. <laughs> You've already got two complaints of rape against you. Make that three and... Well, even the law might think it's more than just coincidence. Thanks. On your own today. Yes, it's Chaz swanned off and left me. Yeah, it's hard for us business women. You just can't get the staff. Afternoon, Louise. Can you tell Chaz Erin's arrived? Well, I'd love to, but she's not here. She knew it was coming. Well, something came up. An emergency? I don't know. Would you call Scott Windsor an emergency? Only if you've got a daughter to worry about. You mean she got off with a bloke? Well, you should be used to that. You were married to her. Can we go on, then? You know we can't. Did you see how long she'd be? No, but her relationships don't usually last very long. Can I get you a drink while you're waiting? Two orange juices, please. Sure. Ah, Chastity, good of you to join us. I'm sorry, I just had an important errand to run. Don't bother lying. Louise has already told us what you're up to. Thanks a bunch. I'll leave you to it, shall I? 
Look, I really am sorry, and I don't care what she said, but it was family business. I don't have it? time to discuss this now. I've got to be getting down to Devon. There's a funeral to arrange. Be good for you, Mum. I'll try. <laughs> Hello, love. It's good to have you staying again. What do you want to do while you're here? Don't know. I didn't even want to come. Oh. You know that I didn't attach us. You set me up. Like you did our Sam. Thought it'd be an easy target, didn't you? Well, I admit he's not the brightest, but even he's not stupid enough to think that every woman would find him irresistible. Then not that one out yet. And after I've uh, messed up that pretty face a bit, you'll be lucky if any of them come near you. If you're gonna make me that, why don't you just get it over with? All you've got to do to protect your looks is drop the charges against him, me and Shadrach. I can't. Wrong answer! <laughs> I can't because it's not me making the charges against you, it's the police! Well, then I reckon you've got a problem. <laughs> now, this is just a taster. We're the close family. And you're on every dingo's blacklist until you get them charges dropped. If I were you, I'd make it quick. Cos our cane gets out of jail in a couple of days, and he's not as soft-hearted as me. I should have to think what he might do to you. Think about it. 